What's up everyone? I'm over at Green Hat Kiteboarding and just want to go over some new gear that they just got. They are a dealership for Unifoil now and I will be going over all of the line that they have and also I will be giving all of the tech specs in the notes so that way you guys can nerd out, figure out aspect ratios and square centimeters and all the other fun stuff. But anyway, let's start with the boards. This is the Disco Butter. This is their prone board. And it comes in three sizes, a 27 liter, a 32 liter, and a 36 liter. Now for me, the 27 liter is my favorite prone board. Super balanced, very easy to paddle, and very easy to pump and turn. I personally feel that I'm doing my best prone foiling on it at the moment. This is the 32 liter. This is my foil drive board. And as you can see right here, it is foil drive approved, which means that it's super balanced. So that way when you have the whole setup, it doesn't feel like it's a little too top heavy or tail heavy, it feels very balanced. And also I do not have to run any sort of foam in the tracks. The 36 liter, which is the biggest out of all of them, which is four six, is something that if someone's just getting into prone foiling, wants something that's super easy to ride, but also if they are interested in going foil drive as well, and they don't want to go for a mid, it's packing a good amount of liters, but also the ability to not have such a huge board in front of their feet. It comes with this awesome bag. It's padded. It's super easy to work with and it's got little pockets so you can put some gear in there. Definitely a great addition. From there, let's go into wings. So I'll start with the 200 progression. For me personally, I think that this is a great beginner foil. Uh, this is something that I feel is gonna be super balanced and also very stable for anyone just trying to get into prone foiling. It's also great if you're interested in doing downwinding, especially if the swell is slow. So if you're concentrating more on the bay and areas where you're not chasing swell, it will be a good wing for that. Uh, this is the biggest out of all of them at the moment. I also have the 170. I also wanna show that this comes with a fantastic bag. The 170 itself, a lot of people like to use it as their second wing. I personally would use it as my third wing just because I really like the 140 and 125 more, but the 170 has been a real treat when it is very, very small and or I'm riding something along the lines of a bigger board and I wanna be able to get it elevated very fast. Tons of low end lift and also enough speed. It's not the fastest. The 140 is one of my favorite wings that Unifoil has put out. It is the floatiest, surfiest wing that I've ever had. It keeps you in the pocket. It's super fast, but it also pumps really fantastic. Um, this is what the first progression wing that they kind of came out with, and this is what they were shaping the progression series to be was something that surfs well but also very easy to pump and to connect waves and then the 125 the 125 is not only the fastest that we have here but also it's something that a winger or someone that is interested in doing some bigger swell downwind it definitely keeps up with the speed. It has a little bit more of a turning ability for it. And all in all, I think it's fantastic. All right, so as far as mass, I have the 750 Katana. This is a really great mass for anyone that's looking to prone. This is the thinnest masts that they have. Uh, and it's also right at that perfect height where it gets up on foil really fast, but you're not constantly hitting sandbars and things of that sort. 
Uh, this is my number one mask that I like to use for prone. The Progression Series, this is an 800, so it's two inches taller than the Katana, 750. The cool thing about this one is it's stiffer. So when I'm using a foil drive, I really enjoy it because I don't feel any wobble at all. It is the stiffest mask that I think is personally out there, uh, besides going into maybe aluminum mass. The other thing to keep in mind is, since it is stiffer here, it is thinner here. So once your foil is engaged and you're right around this height, you will feel way more glide and efficiency. And especially with foil drive, that's one of those things where a lot of people are trying aluminum masks and they're going great, but it's so much more efficient here. And when you already have some weight from foil drive, it is nice to have something that's moving fast through the water and not feeling a little bit more weight than what you would normally feel. We also have this aluminum mass, which is absolutely fantastic. It's pretty light. Uh, this is a 750. And the most important thing about this mass is that's price point. So if you're trying to get into foiling, you can easily package one of the best front foils with a price point mass and be shredding. It comes with a adapter for your front foil, obviously, and then the bottom mass plate, and also all the unifoil, as far as the mass plates, quick, easy in and out, M8 slides. Next thing we're gonna get into is fuses. So I got four different options. I got your medium fuse, your short fuse, your carbon fuse, and your aluminum fuse. So for me personally, the short fuse in aluminum is absolutely amazing in prone foiling. It gives that extra little snap. It's super sturdy. And I just feel like it just feels a little bit better. The medium carbon, I've actually liked a lot with the foil drive system. And the reason why is the medium gives you just a little bit more pitch stability, but also with it being a carbon, it's a little lighter. So it's a little less weight off your kit in general. Tails, we have the 14.5 progression tail. This is obviously something that they have been working on for a while and it's awesome in the surf. They comes in 13.5 and 14.5, or you can get the three pack. The three back tail combo comes with a shank, which is rear footed, a shiv, which is neutral footed, and then a shunt, which is front footed. So if you're looking for a little extra help getting on foil, the shunt is a great option. For me personally, I love the shiv just because it's neutral. The shank, which is back footed, is awesome for towing and if you're foiling into bigger, steeper waves. Unifoil also came up with this awesome tool bag, which is funny to say, but anyway, it comes with tons of shims, including positive and negative, all of your base plates, all of your connections, your front wing, to mast is M8, and your front wing to fuse to tail is all M6. They do a great job with all of their hardware, and it comes in this cool little case. It's super fun. For me personally, I really enjoy the 0.5 shim if I'm going to be just prone surfing. And then if I'm going to foil drive, I like it at zero. We also have these really fun bags, and they're big enough to carry everything on this table. That's four wings, three masts, a bunch of tails, a bunch of fuses, all of this stuff. All right, well, that's everything. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the shop, or you can hit me up too at the Lift Journal on Instagram. I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction. Again, all of this stuff is awesome, especially if you're interested in getting into prone foiling. 
this is the stuff to have. It's super easy, it's super stable, and it just works.